This is another video showing my 4000 volt power supply. Uh, these are two microwave transformers connected in series for 4000 volts. Except this time I'm using an inductive balance to limit the current instead of a light bulb. And that's this over here. This is my inductive balance, the, the red thing there on the bottom on the floor. Uh, what it is is there's four large chokes that I have connected in series and it uses inductive reactants to limit current. And then down here, um, this is my arc tester. I use this to check how far out I can draw an arc from a high voltage transformer. And then in the back, this is my panel I built. Um, it's got a voltage meter and an ammeter. The meter on the left is the uh, voltage meter, and then the meter on the right is the ammeter. That shows how much current we're drawing. And right now it's turned off, so we're not drawing any current right now. And then down here, um, this is my Bariac. And that's a variable transformer. I can use that to control how much voltage I put into the transformers. So um, I just wanted to show how everything was hooked up first. And I want to go ahead and turn it on and show you how it works. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is switch on the main power. So I'm going over to the panel. Okay, so we got main power to the Variac. And this is the Variac down here. And I'm going to bring the voltage up slowly. And you can hear the fan going on the power supply. And there's the power supply right there, 4,000 volts. And you can see, let's see if we can zoom in on the voltage. And we're live, 120 volts. And the current is right there. Okay. So, we have the transformers live now. And sorry for the camera moving around like that. <laughs> And then we're going down to the arc tester, and I'm going to slowly close the gap. Now the thing with 4,000 volts is it can't jump very far by itself. You can draw the arc out far if you have a lot of current, but um, 4,000 volts can't jump very far by itself. But we can draw the arc out. It's also really cold in here, so that's another reason why the arc is going out so fast, because it's freezing in here. And since the air is cold, um, the air is not as conductive, so an arc can go out pretty fast. You need a higher voltage to sustain the arc. But I've calculated it. And on the primary side, we have 120 volts, and we're drawing about 6 amps. So on the secondary side, we have about 4,000 volts and about 180 milliamps. And let's look at the ammeter. Okay, you notice that when the gap is open, uh, it draws less current. Watch what happens when I close the gap and we short out the transformer. Uh, I'm going to do it right now. You can see the needle jumps when we draw more current. And then we open the gap and the arc breaks. And you can see the needle, uh, the needle drops down. Okay, um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to show how the power supply worked with the inductive ballast. Uh, we got a little bit bigger arcs now. And actually, I can, um, if I wanted to, I could switch out a couple of these chokes. I could bypass them and we would get more current that way. But um, I didn't want to do that right now. We can try that later. Right now, we're already drawing 6 amps. Uh, if I take out probably the most we could draw without tripping a circuit breaker, maybe about 16 amps. So, um, on the primary side.
And we can actually do this all day without any problem. They wouldn't trip a circuit breaker. The most we're drawing is like 6 amps. So, okay, I just wanted to show what that looked like. And uh, thanks for watching.